Hello, this is Dr. Brenda with the Corner Bench, and I cook today. And this is, of course, ribs, but it's tomato-less barbecue sauce. So it has the great flavor and taste of barbecue sauce without that tomato taste, without the ketchupy part of it. My aunt's sauce she used to put on her shoulders, and I put it on ribs. My aunt Emma, shout out. And then I made some collard greens and some rice and beans. Rice turned out really good. I was concerned about it. Made some rice the other day. It didn't turn out well. I threw it in the garbage and I thought this is going to be a bad rice year for me. But it's not. This turned out really good. Those are some greens in a can. I put my little flavor to them to the point where I'm going to be able to enjoy them. They don't taste like mine. And they're real soft and fine. But... Um, I'm gonna enjoy them. They have a good flavor on them. I make cornbread, and it's really tasty. Mm-hmm. And this is stew, beef. Mm-hmm. Chuck roast with mushrooms, peppers, onions, carrots. The gravy tastes exactly like I want it to with my gravy, greens, and rice mixture that I'm gonna have. I also made some garlic mashed potatoes. Now, I, I'm cooking for a little bit of a few days because I have to do three days work. So, I need to have something. So, this is my garlic mashed potatoes. And, y'all, I'm so excited about these peas right here. Because when I was younger, my mom used to always make peas, sweet, sweet peas, with a lot of pepper in them. And these peas... Tastes exactly like my mama used to make. Well, I'm so excited about that that I'll be able to enjoy a flavor from my childhood. And I barely buy sweet peas, but if I ever eat them, it's like this. Now I, I learned how to make that today. So this is my meal for today. And um, I just wanted to share. This is Dr. Brenda with the Corner Bench.